Hi everyone, today we are going to have a look at uh, setting up PHP Storm with PHP Unit. First, let's have a look at the uh, default options. We can either use built-in terminal on a Mac, or we can use the terminal uh, that comes with PHP Unit. And I'm going to use this one. So if we go to View, to Windows, and then Terminal, and the terminal window opens here. Now, if I try and run PHP unit, uh, you'll see that what I'm getting is no tests executed. And this is because a version of PHP unit installed on my system is 6.4.4, whereas the version that I'm using with this specific project is, if we open a composer, you'll see it's 5.7. And as of version 6, the PHP unit uh, package has been upgraded to use uh, PSR for auto-loading. Auto That's why we no longer have this sort of class names uh, with it. So in order for us to actually be able to execute these tests, to run them, we need to use the version uh, that's been installed via the Composer, and it will be fine within the vendor bin, and then we have uh, the PHP unit file here. So what we need to do is navigate to vendor, then bin, then PHP unit, hit return, and now you can see that our test has run, and we have one test, one assertion, and it returns green, which means everything is fine. Okay, so that's one of the way, uh, ways you could do it. Now, if we close this uh, terminal window here, this dialog, uh, the, the other way is using the built-in tool specifically for testing. So what I'm going to do is open the preferences panel, by going to PHP Storm Preferences, you can also use uh, command comma on your keyboard to open the same uh, panel. And what we are going to do next, I am going to type in here PHP uh, unit, and this will take us, uh, it will narrow the list of results, and then we're gonna go to PHP, and then we have this test frameworks. We're going to add one, it's going to be PHP unit local, and we have three different options. One on the far uh, right is to load from the include path uh, using per package management. Uh, I don't have per installed, by default it doesn't come installed on the Mac, so I'm going to ignore this um, option. Then we have using path to PHP unit fi file, which is basically the one installed globally. And now if to get the path to this file, we are going to run within the terminal, which PHP unit, and this gives us the full path. So we could use this approach. Let's just copy this path and paste it in here. As you can see, a PHP Storm still isn't happy with it. Uh, it tells us a PHP unit version is not installed. If we hit on this refresh button, you'll see we have some error here. And this is because the full path to this uh, far file was displayed right underneath here, uh, this one. So if we copy this, well, we can't just copy it clearly. So if we go to back to the terminal, what we are going to do is to navigate first to this bin directory and we'll see where it's sim linking. So if we just go cd uh, user local bin, and now if we do ls hyphen al, and we look for php unit, if we scroll up, we have so many sim links here, php unit, uh, links to seller, php unit, and so on. So if we just copy this path and now navigate to this location, oops, uh, there we go, we scroll down, cd, there we go. And now if we do LSAL, and it tells us that this one now links to, to this one within this libexec directory. So we just navigate to this directory, cd libexec, and now LSAL, and there we go. This is our far file. So what I need to do is take the path to this directory and then include the name of the file as well. So uh, what we're going to do is pwd, that gives us the full path. So if we just copy this, paste it within this field and now the name of the file here if we just go back to the terminal is this php unit 6444 and if we paste it in if we refresh now as you can see successfully updated and this error message is has now disappeared so for the configuration file we need to include the file uh, for our project which is this php unit.xml so if we check this checkbox and navigate to the directory select the php unit xml hit and open click apply and OK, and that's now set up. So now we can run our test. If you want to run the whole suit within the given um, class, you just put your cursor anywhere on your class name, Control, Shift, and letter R, and there we go. The tests are running for the whole class. 
However, because we've selected uh, our uh, in globally installed version of PHP unit, the same problem as before, we're using 6.4.4, whereas project is using actually uh, version 5.7. So that's why these tests will not run. So let's go back to the preferences panel, uh, PHP Storm PH preferences, and again back to the test frameworks uh, under the PHP uh, languages and frameworks, PHP and then test frameworks. So now we are going to change this. I'm just going to remove everything from within these fields, uncheck it, and go to use Composer Auto Loader. Uh, and we are going to point to our a local installation of PHP unit. Now, path to the script, we need to navigate to our vendor directory within the project and then select autoload file. And then what we're going to do is use the configuration again. So same file, so going back to our project and this PHP unit XML. As you can see here, PHP Stone still tells us the PHP unit version is not installed. If we hit on this refresh, you'll see further explanation for this given error. Now we can ignore this because this will actually work. So if we hit on apply and then on OK, and if we now try and run this uh, whole file, so run at test, there we go, you can see we are getting green. So one test, one assertion passes, we just have this deprecation message uh, for this uh, configuration. You may not see it if you uh, do it with a different kind of setup in a sense that obviously you, your project may be using more up-to-date PHP version. Okay, so that's how we can actually execute it manually. So if we want to execute the the entire suite, the entire uh, all tests within a given file, we just put our cursor anywhere within the class name and then just uh, control shift R and that runs all of the tests. Uh, if you only want to run this single test, you just place your cursor on the uh, method name or anywhere within the method and do the exactly same thing, control shift R and it will only run this specific test. Obviously, we only have one test here. That's why both of them actually run only one test and one session. Okay, now if you would like to uh, run tests every time you save the file, you can hit this button here on the left hand side within the toolbar. So now if we, for instance, change and add another number here, let's say uh, 10, 11, and if I save the file, you see this, this test will run automatically. And it tells us obviously now it, it's failing because the, the assertion uh, value isn't matching what it actually, what it's actually uh, returning. So if I now change it, save again, and you can see it's automatically running and we're getting green, one test, one assertion, and so on. Now before we finish this video, let's quickly upgrade the version of the uh, PHP unit that we're actually using for this project to the latest one. So I'm going to open Compose.json and change it, uh, this version 5.7 to version 6 because that's 6.4 is actually the latest. I'm going to use this caret symbol then 6.4 so that will uh, always install the latest version 6. As long as it's 6, the first number digit is 6, then that's the version that's going to be installed, the latest one. Okay, so I'm saving the Composer JSON back to the terminal. From within the root of our project, let's run a Composer update, and that should replace the, the older version which we had previously with the latest one. As you can see, it's changed PHP unit from 7 to 6.4.4. Okay, so now that we have the latest version, we should be able to run from within the terminal uh, all the tests just using PHP unit. However, if I do this and hit return, you will see that we have this fatal error. And this is because this PHP unit underscore framework underscore test case does no longer exist because this new package, this new uh, version of PHP unit doesn't have this sort of namespacing. So now the file that we're actually going to be extended is going to be just test case and it's going to be this PHP framework test case. As you can see, it matches. It's just replacing these underscores with the back slashes uh, to make sure, obviously, that it follows PSR for auto loading. Okay, if we now save it and run a PHP uh, unit, if we just select our class name and just hit Control Shift and then R, you can see it's running just fine using the latest version of a PHP unit. And if we go to the terminal, now do the same PHP unit, you'll see that it will also work because obviously the version installed matches the version that's actually associated with the project. So that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.